today, we are privileged to have amongst us Professor Shushma Yadav, an accomplished academician and visionary leader as a chief guest for today's event. <coughs> Professor Yadav currently serving as the Pro Vice Chancellor of the Central University of Haryana, Mahindragar, Haryana. She has served as a member of Justice K.G. Balakrishnan Commission in New Delhi, further contributing to academia as a member of the University Grants Commission. Her illustrious career spans several esteemed positions, including Vice Chancellor of Bhagat Kul Singh Mahila Vishwavidyalaya in Sonipat and Pro Vice Chancellor of Indra Gandhi National Open University in New Delhi. Professor Yadav's expertise in public policy and governance is evident through her tenure as a professor at the Indian Institute of Public Administration, where she also chaired the Dr. B. R. Ambika Chair. A topper of Delhi University, Professor Shishma Yadav has published more than 15 books and several research papers in national and international journals. Throughout her career, she has held significant leadership roles such as chairperson of the governing body at the College of Vocational Studies, University of Delhi, and president of the Indian Political Science Association. Professor Yadav has been instrumental in shaping academic policies and activities, serving on various committees and councils of esteemed institutions like Delhi University, Jawaharlal Nehru University, and Indira Gandhi National Open University, among others. Her contributions to academia and society have been recognized with numerous awards, including the Savitri Bai Phule, Rashtriya Siksha Samman 2023 and the Women in Empowerment Award 2023. Professor Yadav influence extends beyond borders as she has represented India in academic and administrative capacities during visits to several countries across the globe, including China, the USA, and Germany. We welcome you, ma'am. May I now invite our Vice Chancellor to request Honorable Chancellor to invite the Chief Guest to present the convocation address. I would like to request Honorable Chancellor to invite the Chief Guest to deliver the convocation address. It is my pleasure to invite Professor Sushma Yadav, Chief Guest of this sixth convocation of KKND State Open University to deliver the convocation address. Honorable Chancellor of Krishna Kanta Handling State of the University and Honorable Governor of Assam, respected Sri Gulabjit Pedaniaji, Honorable Vice Chancellor of the University and my younger brother, Professor Rajendra Prasad Dasji, all other invited Honorable Vice Chancellors from state different universities around esteemed members of Board of Management and Academic Council of the University, Registrar, Deans, Directors of Schools, Faculty Members, Officers and Staff of the Universities, Graduating Students, Doctors, Masters, Bachelors, their proud parents, Winners of Medals and Awards and Certificates, Invited Guests, Members from the Media, Ladies and gentlemen, Sabko Namaskar. It's a great pleasure for me to be here to deliver this convocation address, which is the sixth convocation of the university. Before I start, I would like to offer my celebration. Sarvapratham, I Bharat Mada ko naman karti hu. Is Assam ki dharti ko naman karti hu. Professor Krishnakant Handik ji ki पुण्य स्मृति को नमन करती हूँ इस देश की यशस्वी लोकप्रिय राष्ट्रपति श्रीमती द्रौपदी मुर्मू जी को प्रणाम करती हूँ इस देश के यशस्वी प्रधानमंत्री नरेंद्र मोदी जी को प्रणाम करती हूँ इस प्रदेश के कर्मशील मुख्यमंत्री हेमंत विश्व शर्मा जी को नमस्कार करती हूँ और प्रदेश के विचारशील दूर दृष्टि रखने वाले कुलाधिपति जो हमारे बीच हैं ऐसे आदरणीय श्री गुलाब चंद्र टालिया जी को भी प्रणाम करती हूँ इस 
विश्वविद्यालय के यश विद्वान कुलपति को नमस्कार करती हूँ और धन्यवाद करती हूँ और फिर आप सबको हृदय से बधाई देना चाहती हूँ अभिनंदन करना चाहती हूँ साधुवाद देना चाहती हूँ कॉन्ग्रेचुलेशन डियर ग्रेजुएटिंग स्टूडेंट्स इट्स अ ग्रेट ओकेजन फॉर यू इट कम्स वेरी रेयरली वंस इन लाइफ टाइम वेन यू बिकम बैचलर यू बिकम मास्टर यू बिकम डॉक्टर्स ऑफ कोर्स मैनी ऑफ यू मे रिपीट इट यू मे डू अनदर बैचलर्स डिग्री यू मे डू अनदर मास्टर्स डिग्री यू मे इवन डू पोस्ट डॉक्टरल और अनदर डॉक्टरेट डिग्री बट स्टिल इट कम्स वंस एंड योर प्लेजर एंड योर पेरेंट्स प्लेजर is equally great even at that time i also wish to congratulate two senior citizens who have done their graduation or degrees this time look at their desire to learn and desire to earn a degree because you can learn without a degree also but the desire to earn a degree which must be contagious we can all be inspired that we can earn it we can learn at any age and that's something which we must learn this is the sixth convocation i would like to congratulate the university its honorable vice chancellor its very very illustrious honorable chancellor and all the faculty members who have made this possible and i feel honored to be invited to this convocation my warm greetings to all of you and my thanks to honorable chancellor for giving the approval that i delivered the convocation address i have noted just now that the university was established in 2005 it's a baby university if you look at the institutions age because institutions have very very long existence so it's not even 25 in a person's age we say one gets young at that time but i say it baby and you have years and years to grow and attain i wish the university all the very best to grow in name in fame in esteem over the years i am very happy to note that the university has started offering <coughs> UG and PG programs in accordance with the requirements of National Education Policy 2020 from the academic session 23 and 24, and they are also offering several MOOCs programs on the SWAM platform because that's one special role that the open universities have, and we do not have enough open universities because all the states are not fortunate. to have a state open university your state is fortunate and therefore you are also fortunate that you could have these degrees at your own pace at your own ease at your own place and at whatever age that you offer to have or wanted to have these degrees i wish to appreciate this and the fact which honorable vice chancellor mentioned in his address that 50% of the learners are from the marginalized sections and 40% or even more than that are females which is i think a matter of claim you can all be proud of this fact <laughs> india is changing jise hum kehte hain bharat badal raha hai bharat viksit bhi ho raha hai aur isiliye jo mahila purush ke beech ka antar tha डिग्रीज लेने में या शिक्षा प्राप्त करने में दीक्षित होने में वह भी समाप्त हो रहा है एंड टू एक्सपैंड द होराइजन ऑफ दिस यूनिवर्सिटी द यूनिवर्सिटी हैज एंटर्ड इन टू एम ओ यूज आई कैन नेम मैनी एकेडमिक इंस्टीट्यूशन लाइक उत्तराखंड ओपन यूनिवर्सिटी वर्धमान महावीर ओपन यूनिवर्सिटी कोटा इक्फा यूनिवर्सिटी त्रिपुरा तमिलनाडु ओपन यूनिवर्सिटी सो फ्रॉम ईस्ट टू वेस्ट एंड नॉर्थ टू साउथ you have institutions where you have collaborated and these collaborations always enrich any institution i again congratulate the krishnakant handi open university for this they are important in the growth of an institution i also note 
that the university has adopted some best practices to impart quality education to its students. You will be the evidences or witnesses to this. The university has adopted learner's mentoring system, learning management system, employee profit profile management system, circular management system, home assignment portal management system, besides many others. I'm sure it must have facilitated your access and the university's availability and accessibility to you. No wonder that the university was awarded a prize international award in 2013 by the International Organization Commonwealth of Learning as Excellence in Institutional Achievement Award. I wish you many more awards in the years to come and you have laurels. As I said before, Convocation is a very important event for an institution. It's an important event in an individual's life, but also an institution's life. And in this convocation, it's remarkable that 10,854 students are being awarded with their degrees, diplomas, and certificates, out of which 28, which we just saw, received the gold medal. My heartiest congratulations to all of you for winning these laurels, the medals, certificates, degree, and doctorates. Not only to you, your parents, your teachers, your mentors, your counselors, and even your friends, because they must have facilitated your learning and earning of these degrees. You can claim, you know, clap for yourselves. It's also an occasion where your hard work is certified, your hard work is rewarded. But never forget, you get this degree, diploma or certificate with the support of your family members. Every degree goes to the family in terms of either contribution to your hard work, facilitating it, or in terms of material, which means peace also, which means support also, which means books and reading materials and travel, etc. So their support has also facilitated your earning. I really wish to congratulate the family members of all these students who have won medals, who have won degrees. And your siblings also, because they must also have facilitated you in this award. The opportunity to pursue higher education in this country, and I would say most of the world, is still very limited. We are trying to increase the gross enrollment ratio, but it hasn't crossed 25% yet, or maybe 30%. So you are among those lucky ones, very fortunate ones, the 25% elite of this country, who've been able to come to a higher education institution. Congratulations once again. This is also the time the degree which you have taken has empowered you. You are a degree holder. Now you are ready to embark upon a new life. A life to realize your dreams. Dreams which you nurtured for years and years, maybe. But please now, work with determination. Sapne hum sab dekhte hain. Aur sapne dekhka hum sab ko adhikar bhi hai. Lekin sapne hum dekhte hain, पर पूरे उन्हें कब कर पाते हैं सपने तो हम बिना मेहनत की नींद में देख लेते हैं सपने तो हम बिना मेहनत की नींद में देख लेते हैं लेकिन लक्ष्य पूरा करने के लिए बहुत सी नींद गवाकर मेहनत करनी पड़ती है आई एम वेरी गुड दैट यू आर रेडी टू वर्क दैट हार्ड सो दैट यू कैन रियलाइज योर ड्रीम्स एंड अटेन योर एंड्स और एम्स दैट यू हैव डिसाइडेड फॉर श्योर and I'm very sure that with your dreams and ideas, you will chart out your distinctive paths and identity in the professional world and the global world which is before us. <coughs> Open learning has made this possible. So it has revolutionized education by breaking down barriers, barriers of entering an institution, 
barriers of age, barriers of time, barriers of space, barriers of resources, barriers of positions. It has broken these barriers and provides access to knowledge for individuals from all walks of life and it is a platform which embraces diversity and flexibility. The NEP 2020 takes it to a richer direction and greater heights because now it makes possible that you break the barriers of disciplines also. If you took science at one time and then you want to enter arts, it was still possible before. But if you had opted for arts, you wouldn't have been able to get into sciences ever in your life. NEP 2020 would make it possible now that if by chance you could not go to a scientific discipline or discipline of science at the time of your entry into the college, you may have options and opportunities to change your discipline if you have the scientific matter of mind, if you have an interest, if you have a flair, you will be still able to change your discipline. That's a great change coming for this generation. I really compliment you. We couldn't have done it, but you will be able to do it. That is the miracle of NEP 2020, and I wish it gets realized soon enough. The university spirit is education beyond barriers. And these barriers, which were there before, are now being, of course, broken. We must remember India, that is Bharat, is one of the most ancient civilizations. And as most ancient civilization in the world, the knowledge traditions of India also have passed through various phases, the oral phase and then the written phase. Multiple disciplines with diverse subject matters can be seen in the Indian traditions or Indic traditions of knowledge. And these disciplines, when accumulated and put together, make Indian Gyan Parampara or Indian knowledge tradition, as we call it, or Indian knowledge system, as NAB 2020 mentions this. I'm very hopeful, rather sure, that Krishnakant Handi Gopal University, under the such able leadership of the Honorable Vice Chancellor and the overall philosophical guidance from Honorable Chancellor will be able to inculcate the Indian knowledge system into the students and would be able to integrately weave it into your syllabus and various curriculum frameworks. It is the demand of the time. It is only in the Indian knowledge tradition that we find that there are 14 vidyas and 64 kalas. The vidyas are theoretical parts of the knowledge tradition and the kalas are the various skill-based art forms or art-based practices that one can really excel in. And many of you must be having so many of these skills which now can be woven into your degrees and also be certified by institutions like the state open university that we have here or other traditional universities who will also become part of the expanding Indian knowledge tradition. They are not only a spiritual tradition, but a knowledge system which provides you understanding of the various ways of life. When you go into the world, you must be known by your behavior. In Sanskrit, there is a text which says, yesham na vidya na tapo na danam na jnanam na shilam na guno na dharmam te mrityu loke uvi bharatuta manushya rupena vigash charati. Some of you may have understood this. But those who do not have education, who do not have sacrifice, who do not have charity, who do not have knowledge, who do not have wisdom and humility, who do not have qualities, who do not have dharma, <coughs> they are not even humans. They are just like animals who go around in the nature. nature. We have grown up now. We don't say animals are lesser beings, but surely by acquiring all these qualities, 
we become better human beings. I wish all of you, when you behave in the world, you are able to demonstrate these qualities so that your education really becomes meaningful. You also have a tough time because you are not going to live in a world which is called VUCA world, which they say, I don't agree with that though. Because every world is a VUCA world, because world changes always. And the world remains uncertain because we don't know the future. But for you it's difficult because you have passed through that phase of Indian society when we had a nuclear family emerging much more. Jo ekal parivar hota hai, nuclear family hoti hai, vaha mata pita aur bachche. Mata pita dono kamani ki koshish karte hai, aur bachcha praya ha, ya to akela hota hai, apne aap fend karta hai, ya kisi ke saath haato mein balta hai. तो बहुत सारे वो गुण जो हमारे दादा दादी नाना नानी चाचा चाची बहुत सारे रिश्ते होते हैं आई एम श्योर यू ऑल नो दम उनसे हम जो सीखते थे वो भी अब आपको अपने आप सीखना है या अपने एजुकेशनल इंस्टीट्यूशन में सीखना है इसलिए आपका काम और कठिन है बट आई एम श्योर यू आर इवन मोर इंटेलिजेंट यू ऑल्सो हैव मोर एक्सपोजर सो यू बी एबल टू लर्न इट बट आई ऑल्सो विश that with years you develop in yourself that patience and that tolerance and that large heartedness which is required to live together. Because you not only have to live together in India, Bharat, but you also have to live and coexist with the world. Because now we say it's a global world. And NEP 2020 says that you must be ready for the for becoming the citizen of a globalized world or a global society. So have this. I have also noted that the university has expanded over the years and it has 5 lakh learners, which is a very huge number. So you have 5 lakh siblings in fact with you. They are the alumni, they are part of your family and these alumni basically come together to support each other have that feeling and remain always attached with your institution. And the university has now again in this session 41,726 admissions, which is I think very huge number for any educational institution. Speaking of the transformative vision of NEB 2020, it ushers into an era of holistic education. Holistic education, where all the disciplines will come together and all the co-curricular, I won't say extracurricular, but co-curricular disciplines, activities, art forms also will come together and make you a very accomplished human being. I wish that soon comes and your education goes beyond the classrooms. So the synergy between NEP 2020 and the synergy between open learning, they really are striking and remarkable because both recognize the very, very significant role of technology in education, openness in education, liberal perspectives, and with integrating learning and teaching processes together. This not only enhances accessibility, but also aligns education with the demands of the changing times. The policy's global perspective, as I just said, seeking to establish Bharat as a hub for education or making Bharat as a Vishwaguru also aligns together and they both have very, very important role. <coughs> Usually we believe that by education we become ready to earn in life. But mind it dear students, in Indian tradition, knowledge is not merely that. It's also to bring you laurels in life. It is said vidya arthakari, it gives you employment. Vidya yashikari, it's to give you real fame and name. And finally, it's also to move you towards making India 
a five trillion economy, which is soon going to be a reality, for taking bold steps into this direction. And for that, you have to take care of your health through the Panchagoshiya Vikas, which Indian tradition again has, where your body is healthy, ek swasth tan ho, ek bada sanyamit man ho, ek bahut santulit pran ho, ek samuchit vikyan ho, aur uske baad asli anand, jisko hum sat chit anand kehte hain, wo lehne ke liye aap teya ho. Wo tab aap ho paayenge, jab aap jeevan ke kramo ko bhi samjhenge. Ek or श्लोक अपने स्क्रिप्चर का आपको बताऊंगी और उसके बाद में अंत करूंगी विद्या ददाति विनियम इफ यू आर एजुकेटेड यू मस्ट लर्न ह्यूमिलिटी यू मस्ट बी अम्बल इन लाइफ यू मस्ट अंडरस्टैंड हाउ टू बिहेव विद अदर्स विद्या ददाति विनियम विनियाति याति पात्रत्व पात्रत्वात धनम आपूर्ति सो व्हेन यू यू अडॉप्ट ह्यूमिलिटी यू आल्सो बिकम एबल or capable, you have the capability and ability to move forward in life. Patratva dhanam apnuti. And you earn when you become really capable and qualified for earning. And dhanat dharma tata sukha. The sukha comes in the end. When you start earning, then you indulge in the righteous behavior and righteous way whatever is expected of you in the time to come. And after that, you are really qualified to have pleasure or have the sukh that human beings really uh, look for, the comfort, the luxuries, or the pleasure as we say it. But there is a complete um, sequence of getting these qualities, I hope and wish you will remember them and you will show them in life. Nothing can be better than this and nothing can be greater than this. I really wish you are able to attain all this. In our scriptures, there is a very beautiful sentence as a convocation address. I would just remind you that. In our scriptures, the convocation addresses the teacher says to his, her students, Satyam Vada, always speak the truth. <coughs> Dharmam Char, always indulge in righteous practices or behavior. <coughs> Follow the Dharma. Swadhyayat Na Pramat, and never leave self-study. So Navi say lifelong learning, but our tradition had emphasized it before. I will charge you what Honorable Chancellor was charging you all through, that I charge you that you prove yourself worthy of this education. So I charge you. These are very simple three sentences, but just see the deep meanings of this. Because if you speak the truth, you have to live that life. If you have to follow the righteous path, again you have to live that kind of life. And if everyone lives that life, the world really will be a beautiful place to live. I wish that you are harbingers of such a world where learning is also there, dharma is also there, and truth is also there, and knowledge always wins finally. So in conclusion, I would once again like to congratulate all the graduating students who are here today. Let us acknowledge the profile of the impact of learning on you and the forward-looking vision which is embedded in NEP 2020. I would wish that the university also formulates its institutional development plan soon and follows that. I extend my heartfelt congratulations to your family members also and your teachers as well. And I would like to thank once again Honorable Chancellor, Sri Gulachan Kataria ji for making it possible that I deliver this convocation address and my very dear brother and honorable vice chancellor of this university, Professor Rajendra Prasad ji, for inviting to me to be part of this inspiring convocation 
ceremony. I hope you all go inspired and you all lead a wonderful, successful life. एक बार पुनः है आप सबका अभिनंदन आप सबको बधाई आप सबको साधुवाद आप सबको आशीर्वाद नमस्कार जय भारत जय आसाम